So, um, this first triangle that we're dealing with, we're just going to look at it here. Now, I'm going to call these a couple of, uh, let's just say that I called this A, and I called this B, and I called this C. So this is what, how come A and B and C is 180 degrees? Because it's a straight line. So can anybody else um, find those A, B, and C? Like for example, in the triangle, B is there. But what about this here? Can anybody see what angle that is? The green question mark? That's C. That is correct. How'd you know? It's yeah. It's a Z angle, or one that we've been calling uh, alternate interior angles. Yes. So that's a C. And what about this angle here? A. Because. So you see inside my triangle again. Adds up to 180. So all we're gonna do is use the properties you already know and adding up to 180 to answer some new questions. So I'll get to get you guys to do these with who you're sitting with and uh, we'll review them together, okay? So as I came around, I could tell uh, quite a few people were able to get this angle using the straight line. So 180 minus 155, which is 25 degrees. Then the three angles in the triangle have to add up to 180. So the missing angle is how big? Sorry? Uh, maybe 115? Okay. Now, if we were to look at these uh, angles in the second picture, um, let's try this one first. What would angle M be? What would this angle here be? Yeah, how did you get that? Above it, right. So these are angles on a straight line, so you can use it that way. Um, how about this one down here? How about this one down here? How would we get that angle? Yeah, the one down at the bottom here. That's correct. How'd you know it was 113? That's right. Yeah, alternate, alternate exterior angles. Now, this one's a little trickier. How do you get this... Uh, how do you get this one in here? The green question mark, this one. Good. Good. So I'm going to draw this for you in case you didn't see it, but there's a Z angle right here. So that means you know the whole thing is 67. And like Joey was just saying, there's 20s already been used, so that leaves us with 47 in the top. Okay, um, and what about this one up here? Can we figure out uh, this one? Well, are there any other angles in this uh, that we can figure out? Yeah, there's a triangle there, so what will this one be? Okay, so let's write that in. And that means we can answer that last angle here. So how much is the last one? 19. Good. So 19, because these three have to add up to 180. Um, it may be that we don't have enough information there, but uh, we're going to move on for the sake of time. There may not be enough information to answer every angle. So, the other thing that we're going to uh, take a look at today, 
I'm going to show it to you guys with uh, a picture here. So here's angle E, and what it's uh, asking you is, how do you know that E is equal to A plus B? How do you know that, um, let's draw it in a couple colors here. So how do you know that A plus B is equal to E? Well, does anybody want to wager an explanation here? I want to explain to us how they could, uh, it's true. Does anybody uh, feel confident enough to? A plus B. Yeah. Anybody uh, confident enough to explain that one? Well, it takes a couple steps to do it, so I'll show you the first step, then maybe you can tell me the rest of it. So, A plus B plus C, right? Yeah, C plus D is 180, because they're on a straight line, right? And C plus E equals 180. So, do you want to finish it off then? Seems like you got it. Okay, it sounds like a few of you are coming up with your own explanations for this, and that's great. I'll just show you one here that uh, I can make a, a replacement. I can say C is 180 minus E uh, from this guy, and I'll then put it back up into here. So A plus B plus 180. So that means... A plus B these two I can take out on the same side and I can move the E to the other side so for now we're not going to expect you guys to uh, prove it like that but this is to give you some idea why it's true what you want to remember is that um, angles that are opposite to the exterior in the triangle, they add up to it. So here's how you go in, into it. This is the angle. Here are the ones opposite, means you go directly across. So those two add up to this one. So I'm gonna try to help you find it in the picture for the next uh, example. Okay, sorry, I'll give you a second if you're writing Okay, so let's, let's get away from some of the algebra and go back to doing the numbers. It seems like people are, are comfortable there. So let's, uh, let's try finding some missing angles in here. I'm just going to frame it with, see which ones you can find for me in this first uh, diagram, and we'll, uh, we'll see what we can come up with here. There's quite a few that we should be able to come up with, but the arrows mean they're parallel. So for example, the double arrows mean that these two lines are parallel. The triple mean the two triples are parallel. Okay, so um, I see this one here as a C angle. They're supplementary, they add up to 180. I can also find uh, there's an F angle right there, which makes this 40. Um, we can also use some Z angles. There's a Z angle there. Yeah, it can look like an N, yeah. It's just a Z that's been flipped over, right? So here's a, a Z here. So there's my 40. Okay. Um, what other angles can people find? Yeah. Sure, just... Can you say it just a little louder? So that is 30, yeah. So there's a, Joey just noticed there's a straight line here, so those three angles have to add up to 180. Yeah, Paul, go for it. You got it? Okay, um, 
the other thing is if I have 70 degrees here, what's this angle in the corner of that triangle? Yeah, 110 is right. Okay. So yeah, this one here is going to end up being 30 as well. And this one here is going to be 110. Um, there's one more that we're missing. Can anyone figure out how to get this one? Yeah, there's a lot of different ways. You could do a C angle. You could do a straight line. There's a bunch of them. Yeah, same as the one at Z angle. There's all kinds of ways of doing it. So, um, but one thing I want to, I want you to notice here. Thank you. This is the outside angle. And when I go straight across, so here's straight across, the two angles, 30 and 110, add up to 140. Okay. Same thing on the other side, 140 will add up to the two angles which are opposite, meaning directly across from it. Okay? Okay. So I'll leave you to it with these two, and then we'll uh, see how you're doing on uh, angles. Okay, gang, so when we're working backwards, you're basically trying to ask yourself, um, you know, normally you're given that something's already parallel and you know something about it then. And we've been calling them F, C, and Z angles just to help you remember. But that's what you're trying to figure out here is which one of these might be an F, C, or a Z. And you're trying to work backwards. So let's find some missing angles and see if we can then prove that one of these is a perfect F, C, or Z. So um, if I add these together, I have 130 degrees. So that means how much is left over here? Good. Is that enough or do I need to keep looking for angles? Yes, there's one more. Okay, I can find. Uh, yeah, there's another one. So we could find this one in here. That's on a straight line. So 75 and 50. Yeah, that would be 55 degrees. And these are the two lines I'm trying to show are parallel. So I see a couple ways we could do this. Actually, there's, I'll show you in different colors here. One way you could do it. I have alternate interior angles because the black line shows me the Z and here's the alternate interior ones, 55 and 55. That's one possible way of saying they must be parallel because those angles are alternate interior. Another way we could do this, let's do it in purple, is we could say these angles are corresponding 50 and 50. The purple makes up my F angle. Okay. And finally, we could do a C angle. We could say, oh, let's do blue. We could say that this is my C. The total in here is 130 degrees, 75 and the 55. So 50 plus 130 is 180. So this represents one of the C angles. Those things have to be parallel as well. Okay. All right. Um, why don't we try, let's try, um, let's just try one more. I'll let you guys, uh, what do you want to do, the top one or the bottom one? Okay, so we'll stop here. Okay, figure out how you can prove that this one is parallel to this one. It is parallel to that one. Okay, gang, the uh, first angle... Okay, the first angle I would be looking to calculate is down here at 53 degrees because it's on a straight line. Yeah. Then I have 53 plus 98 and something else has to add up to 180 degrees because it's all in this triangle. Yeah. So does anybody have that angle? 29? It's corresponding. Yeah, but we don't, yeah, so now that you have 29, be careful, 
You can't say 29 because it's corresponding. You didn't know that they were parallel, right? Unless you know that, unless this is marked on there, you can't be sure that they were 29. But you found it another way by finding it in the triangle first. Now you can say that um, SY is parallel to AD because angle SYD and angle ADN are corresponding. Okay, so that's where we're going to leave triangles for now. Well, we are going to continue, so uh, just bear with me for a sec while I switch video.